Out and about Marathon Town with Mr. Marathon himself, Mike Pudo. Hello everybody, Mike Pudo, Mr. Marathon, and we're continuing our Out and About Marathon series with Parks and Recreation. Let's go see what's going on and let's have some fun today. Oh boy, is that a shot or what? Hello everybody, Mike Pietro here with our Parks and Recreation segment and we're at the beautiful Sombrero Golf and Country Club, the southernmost championship golf course in the United States. Just having a great time and we're gonna go talk to Eric the Pro. Let's go see what he has to say. Today we're visiting the beautiful Sombrero Golf and Country Club, the southernmost championship golf course in the United States as part of our recreational facilities that are located in beautiful city of Marathon. And with me today is Eric, the pro. Mr. And Pito. thank you very much for being our resident pro. We do love having you on board, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming by. Well, the, the, you know, the country club goes way back into the early to middle 50s when uh, Mr. Stanley Whitley came on board and was uh, looking at a place where he could come out and invest his money and build a golf course, of all things, in Monroe County, a building a golf course. Well, lo and behold, look what we have out here is a beautiful facility. We have the pro shop behind us. We got the clubhouse behind us. Uh, and in 1959, ground was broken and uh, the facility came out of the ground and Mr. Switlick, along with my grandfather, Phil Sadowski, they got together and the dredges showed up and they started to dig. And now we have a beautiful championship golf course, 18 holes. And Eric, again, I say he is our pro. And what uh, what is the future for Severo Country Club? Uh, well, recently in the past, we've updated our memberships. We've made a more, uh, more convenient for people coming by on vacation and whatnot, having rentals down in the area. Uh, goes right along with Mar Marathon Vacation Rentals. So um, all ties together and you're able to come out here and experience the private club atmosphere, but in a relaxed environment. Um, you're, it's a lot of clubs up north, have a, they're a little bit uh, uh, a little bit different down here. It's still the Keys lifestyle, but you still get all the refinements of a private club. Um, We've been talking about the memberships. A lot of people have come down and have been able to play golf. We've uh, tailored them to a more to provide to the locals. And uh, a lot of people have taken advantage of it and we've been seeing an increase in play. So it's been good out here. I know there's, there's, a, there's a lot of activities that are you know, going on uh, here at the country club. And uh, you know, we have summer activities. And we also have the winter activities, which is basically seasonal for us. So tell us a little bit about what's happening. Well, like you said, uh, during the summer, it's very laid back. There's some events that go on, but they're really starting uh, you know, Thanksgiving till you know, May, June, uh, that's our season. We get a lot of events going on just about Every other day there's an event, from Ladies Day every Tuesday to Saturday being Men's Day. Every Tuesday and Thursday is Pops Day. Uh, and then you get our events going through, uh, you know, Ryder Cup, our Switlick Tournament. Um, but the Pops group is a very unique group down here. And we, we focus on this. Pops is a 102-year-old gentleman who's been in the Keys since the 50s and has been a member here for, I think, just over about 30 years. Um, but he runs a group every, every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 o'clock, and he keeps all the points, all, all the money and everything goes through pop. It, it's, it's very unique, and a lot of the members love playing in it. I mean, that's He's their, a character. No, he is no a character. No doubt about it. I mean, he I think he came over on the arc, but it's, yeah. a, uh, <laughs> you know, it's really, I mean, it's amazing. And he comes from Big Pine yep. uh, every Tuesday and Thursday and, yep. and works out with you guys here at the, at the course. And yep. uh, well, we even have a uh, even have a hole, um, number seven, they call it the Pops Rocket Fishing Hole. That's right. Where he used to always go fish the golf balls out of the lake. Yep. <laughs> he'll still get out there. He'll still get out there here and there when he's feeling good. And, uh, and he'll pull some balls out of there and give them to the high school kids. Well, I know that uh, we have a lot of different uh, uh, tournaments. In other words, as membership, we have a club championship in tennis, club championship in golf, but yep. we also have other tournaments for, for the golf. And uh, just tell us a few about those. That's right. Um, like I mentioned before, the Switlick tournaments, an invitational tournament um, that is spread out. People come from Colorado, California, New York, New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania, all, all over the U.S. And they come down and play uh, for a three-day tournament down here, which is very popular. Uh, we also have our Ryder Cup tournament. That's basically fashioned out of the original Ryder Cup. Uh, we get four nine-hole matches over two days, and it, it gets pretty intense, and, and the members love it. Oh, they do. Um, they love having it. Having played in it, it's awesome. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, 
So we've got that tournament along with other events. Uh, usually Sunday afternoon is a couples event where Sunday one o'clock, a lot of couples come out and they play. It's a, every, and every weekend we change the format up. So it's something different, something fun that they uh, tend to enjoy. Well, one, one of the tournaments that, uh, that I also enjoy playing in, uh, and, and, and your staff does a phenomenal job, not only with the Swill Lake, but the member guest. Oh, of course. That's, uh, now, you want to talk about a war zone now. I mean, that, that is really, uh, it, that's totally awesome. I mean, I know my brother Chris comes down and we play in it, but, uh, you know, you get a lot of categories of, of members that come in and play, and I think it's, uh, it's nice to know because I think it's just as active as your Swill Lake. You've got two exactly. huge tournaments. Exactly. The member guest is a perfect opportunity for members down here to actually say, hey, listen, you're from uh, my club up in New York. Let's come down and experience the Keys life down here. And tend, uh, they tend to come back year after year. So uh, it's, it's a good tournament. Well, and it's nice that at that tournament for the member guests is, is some of the people that have since have passed on uh, are remembered. It's really kind of neat where they bring That's in, right. and I used to play with this gentleman or that lady or whatever it might be, and it's really kind of unique how, they, uh, how, how you put it together. You've got a great staff here. I mean, the staff that does the cooking, your pro shop staff, you know, everybody's greeted, you know, they drive up here and, the, you know, they go out and get the clubs out of the cars. I mean, it's, uh, exactly. uh, you know, it's homegrown, homespun, but still has a lot of professionalism as other big clubs have as well. And that's, uh, you know, that's, that's credibility to what you've done here. Thank you. Thank you. And that's what we're going for. And that's, uh, that's a team effort. Everyone here has uh, put that together and, and has maintained that uh, nice balance between professionalism and also the Keys friendly lifestyle. You know, you're welcome here. Well, exactly, down. exactly. And, uh, you know, we're, it's just kind of neat. The public needs to be able to uh, get in touch with you. You can be reached at Sombrero Country Club at 743-2551. And uh, just give a call over here and uh, the pro shop will let you know what the available tea times are, what's happening right. out here, and uh, you can just come out and really, really have a good time. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what the club is doing with the Marathon High School golf team. Well, uh, for the past few years that I've been down here is that we've really enforced uh, junior play here. We're really trying to bring that back and, and get the juniors out here. And with the high school, they're allowed to come out here, practice whenever they like, uh, you know, tournaments and whatnot, but we really push them to come out here and play. Uh, the high school team plays here, coach comes out, we get them out here, they play, they have matches here, they actually have a match later today. So uh, it's real, really trying to influence a, a good junior program and, and work with the community in the high school. So, Well, you have an excellent way with, uh, with the kids out there, and I know that the, this is something that uh, uh, years and years ago they were trying to get started, and, uh, and, now, and now that you're here, you know, full control of what's happening with out at the high school working with the coach I think that's totally awesome because not only are the kids out here playing golf and learning when you give them lessons and say hey here's what you're doing and the times that you keep an eye on the matches and you name it as to what's happening here but you know if there's any any rules to be questioned you're here yeah, to help them yeah, out that's huge because yeah. a lot of the other a lot of the other places where they play don't have that and yeah. uh, I think it's really uh, it's just really totally awesome as to what's going on but what I think is really neat is also how the high school golf team will come for your different tournaments whether it be the member guest or the sweat lake That's right. and here they are parking the carts getting the bags out and it's amazing how the people tip these kids to yeah. come in and help out and it keeps the program going yep and i we, think it's huge it's yeah, huge yep we have a couple of tournaments that sponsor marathon athletics and uh really the golf team every one of them uh, takes a part in that and comes out here and supports the club. So it's a good relationship. And also we've had uh, many tournaments for the golf team because we, right. we play with uh, golfing for dolphins. Remember that's that? That's right. That's right. So there's always something going on here and the country club is a huge supporter, not only the high school, but the community. Whenever there's an event, we always have something going on and they're always out there either trying to raise money to help somebody that's in dire need or again, back at the high school for different programs that they got. All right, we're here at hole one with uh, Mr. Marathon here. We're about to tee off, hit some. Uh, Looks like he's setting up all right. Just hold on one second here. Let's uh, let's get those knee flex a little bit here. Get you a little bit more rotation. Uh, let's check your alignment. Yeah, you're looking you're looking pretty good. You could tell he's done this once or twice before. Uh, I believe how many time? Uh, many, mem many, many time member guest twice. Member guest twice. All right. Yeah, he's he's seen a golf club or two. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is right down the middle with a little draw. He does it all, folks. He does it all. Um, along with all the other amenities, we do offer you know, the dining and the Tiki Hut experience. A lot of times after tournaments or round of golf, a lot of the people like to come by, enjoy a nice uh, adult beverage by the Tiki Hut, and also in the bar. Uh, it's a nice atmosphere in there, and it'll cool you down nice. 
we can't thank you enough for everything that you do out here. And again, thanks for uh, having us on board at this uh, beautiful facility. And we wish you all the best of luck. Well, thank you, Mr. Peter. Thanks thank for you. coming by. I hey, appreciate everything. Good. Thank you. Life is good. Thank you. Until next time.